I built a no-code CRM in Airtable. It's totally open source. It's totally free. You can find the link below this video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to modify it and install it. Okay. So when you click the link below, you're going to get the installation instructions, which have all the screenshots and things like that here. And you're also going to get, so in here, um, you have to install account or uh, make Airtable and then click this link here. That's going to get you a blank database. <clears throat> now, what you're going to do is sign up for make, sign up for Airtable. It's the first two steps there. Um, the next step is to configure the make database or the, uh, the Airtable database. So what you're going to do is go through to domain blacklist and you're going to add in domains that you do not want to book a call or that you do not want to log as uh, existing opportunities. So you're going to log all your uh, existing clients. Maybe you have some partners or agencies that you hire. So any calls with them, you don't want to log automatically as opportunities, but everybody else you do <clears throat> now. Um, so that is the uh, copy base. You're going to click on here. Um, you go through here, go through here, go through here, right? So now, <clears throat> once you get this all set up, right, you're gonna have this code, you're gonna configure this, there's some instru installation instructions for that. Once you get it set up and once this make automation is running, you're gonna start to see data come in here. So what you're gonna do is in this air table here, you click on interfaces, and on interfaces, you're gonna see a bunch of graphs. These will have data in them, obviously, once you hook it up and it's running. Uh, the cool thing about Airtable is you can modify all these graphs. So let me just show you how to do that. So you're gonna go here, you're gonna click on edit. All right, now you can take any of these graphs, you can move, you can change the size, right? You can move these around, you can do whatever you want, right? You can rename things. You can also add new graphs if these new graphs are relevant to you or hook these up with make to your existing project management tool or you can send SMS alerts, you can send Slack alerts, you can do whatever you want. Okay, this is totally open source and free to modify. So um, you're gonna have these graphs. Um, I have to, to walk you through the philosophy behind some of them so that you know. So the first thing, is I realized is that close rate as a metric doesn't make sense. And that's just, um, it's very easy to, to think about this because if you think about two leads, let's say you close one of them on the first call and one of them isn't closed after the first call, but they close in the second call, or maybe they're about to close in the second call. You don't have that close yet. Um, so if you measure your close rate, it's gonna be 100%, but it's not yet. So really what you wanna do, <clears throat> I think, is measure the status of the first call. All right, so as you can see with the sample data, uh, you know, there's offer made on about half. Um, and then also measure the status after two calls, All right? So you don't know if these are gonna close or not close yet, um, but you would measure the status after two calls. Now you can change this to after three, if you go to this edit thing here, um, or you can make this a bar graph or whatever you wanna do. Um, I've got the pipeline stages in terms of number of deals here. You probably want to measure the deal source by channel by month as well. So you can see month on month where your deals are coming from. Maybe you want to measure like the total MRR value, right? Maybe you want to measure LTV. You probably want to do either one of those things. Um, for us, we we are an agency that, that charges um, by the month. So <clears throat> we want to do MRR. And as well, the thing I realized is what, about close rate is what you really wanna do is measure the average number of calls to close and the average number of days to close. Uh, and maybe like where your deals are coming from that are actual customers. And then maybe your, your average calls to close over time. You would expect that number to like trend down quarter on quarter if your sales process is improving. So anyway, hopefully that gives you an overview of the uh, Airtable Air, Air, yeah. <laughs> CRM. If you would rather us install and modify this for you, maybe connect it up to your Slack or uh, connect it up and integrate it with your project management system so that any closed leads get automatically added or whatever you want it to do, we have a link here. You can book a call with us and we will do that for you. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Again, link below this video to download everything I just showed you. And that is all. Have a great day.